Most people, especially those growing up in the early 2000s, have seen at least one episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. It's a show that has brought so much to today's culture. So many references just ingrained in people's minds. 24. <laughs> And not to mention that there are a Spongebob meme for literally every occasion you can think of. Overall, it is pretty unanimous that Spongebob is at least a decent show. Some like it more than others, though. But something that comes up in almost every conversation that involves Spongebob is how the early episodes of Spongebob are the good ones and the later ones get worse. But what is always weird is that everyone has a different cutoff point for when the episodes are good, and bad. Some will literally only watch the first two seasons. Some will go by the year and only watch, say, up to 2005. Others will just cut it off at the Spongebob movie that came out in 2004. So really it all comes down to preference because there are many other ways people break it down that I just didn't mention. But the question for me is when did I make the cutoff? My answer to that is that I feel like there are two eras which are the golden age and the good age. The golden age I'd say is when Steven Hillenburg was the driving force of the show and had pumped out three seasons of gems and finished off the Spongebob movie, which is a fantastic movie if you've never seen it. It's just the perfect closer to that age and some people, like I said, won't watch past that and I think that's fair, but you are still missing out on a lot. For example, the episode Skill Crane is in my opinion one of the best episodes of Spongebob. Also, Good Neighbors is just fun all around, but where's the cutoff? In my mind, I think it's once my feeble brain could remember the episodes releasing as a new episode. The first episode that I remember coming out and sitting down watching the debut of it was January 15th, 2007, which was episode 76 of Spongebob called Hocus Pocus. In this episode, pretty much Spongebob gets a magic set and thinks he turns Squidward into an ice cream cone. Now, this episode is actually a decent episode, and I would probably keep it on if it was playing. And some episodes after this one are just as good, if not better. It's just after this point is where things start getting a little shoddy with the episodes. You'll get a couple good ones, but when I have to search for an episode that's good, when there are 70 straight episodes, episodes a great Spongebob, it's hard to find a point to go to those later episodes. Now I wanted to figure out what my community thought about this, and honestly I was pretty surprised at the results. So I made a community post on my YouTube page and took a screenshot at about 300 votes. The post reads, when does Spongebob start going down in quality? And here were the responses. 6% of the people said after season 1. 40% said after the 2004 Spongebob movie. 15% said after season 3. And this is what surprised me the most out of all those answers. Almost 30% said that the show never did fall off and the newer ones are just as good as the originals. Oh, and 10% said other. Anyways, so this got 300 votes and 30% of that is 90 people. Those 90 people see very little to no downfall in the Spongebob episodes as they go on. Still the general opinion is that after the Spongebob movie is when it goes downhill, but I want to know your opinion in the comments. So be sure to let me know because I do read all the comments, believe it or not. Anyway, it's just a little interesting question I thought of out of the top of my head. So thank you everyone for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you appreciate photosynthesis. Toodles!